Kung naghahanap ka ng video conferencing or a platform for your online class that is easy, fast, and free, then consider Google Meet. Stay tuned. Welcome to Alan Online TV. Here's your host, Alan DeLeon. Hi, si Alan DeLeon to. If you're interested in growing your YouTube channel and getting more subscribers, views, and getting monetized the right way, then you came to the right place. Welcome to Alan Online TV. Plus, if you want to build your online brand, online business, and be your own boss, then mag subscribe ka na at i-click mo na rin yung bell notification, pati na rin yung all, so you won't miss any of our video tips, tricks, and tutorials. Nowadays, it's a necessity na meron kang ginagamit na video conferencing for your business meetings, for your online coaching, or your online classes, or simply by getting in touch with your loved ones na taga-ibang bansa. Now, ang good news si Google ay meron free, I take note, free video conferencing which is called Google Meet. Ang kailangan mo lang ay internet connection and to create your Google account and you are ready to go to use Google Meet. Now, if you're, you're interested, then let's head over sa computer screen ko at tingnan mo kung paano gamitin ang Google Meet. So, if you're ready, come on, let's go! Here we are sa computer screen ko, so let's get started! Para ma-access mo ang Google Meet platform, kinakailangan meron kang, katulad ko, kailangan may Google account ka. So, kung wala ka pang Google account, make sure to create one. Very easy, so punta ka lang kay Google, create your Google account. Provide your first name, last name, yung username na gusto mo maging email sa Gmail, your password, i-confirm, then next, then tuloy-tuloy ka na. You're good to go. You will have your own Google account. Okay? So, very fast lang yon. And now, for you to access yung Google Meet, then you have a couple of uh, ways to do it. Number one is, Google, type mo lang kay Google, Google Meet, enter. And then here it is, Google Meet. Now guys, kung may naririnig ko yung background noise, katulad ng mga aso na tumatahol, mga aso ko po yun, kaya pasensya na po kayo. So this is one way, hanapin mo sa Google, just type Google Meet. Then the other way is, click mo yan, then sundan nyo lang po yung aking cursor, dito tayo. Click po natin itong Google Apps. Ayan, Nandiyan po yung buong Google ecosystem. Then, nahanapin mo yung Google Meet. Ayun, Google Meet. Now, nandito siya sa bandang baba. Pwede mo siyang i-move sa taas kung lagi mo siyang gagamitin. There you go. There you go. Yan, para madaling ma-access. So, click mo lang yan. Nasa Google Meet ka na. Then, the other one is kung may Gmail ka na, makikita mo rin siya dito, start a meeting. So, that is your Google Meet. And the other one is a Google Calendar. Yan, ito yung Google Calendar. If you create a schedule, makikita nyo, add Google Meet Video Conferencing. So, I'll create a separate video for this one para hindi masyado humaba ang ating video tutorial about Google Meet. So, let's get, tar let's get started. So, nabulol na ako. So, dito tayo mag-start. Google Meet, click po natin ito. Okay, here we go. So, now, uh, sabi niya, premium vid video meetings now free for everyone. Kasi dati po ito ay may bayad sa G Suite. Okay? So ngayon, free siya. So, very good. So here, kung titignan po natin dito sa upper right hand corner, may settings si Cal. Now, you can set yung audio mo. Ako nakaset yung audio ko dito sa, sa default. Then, yung speaker score and default. Then, you can also set your video. Ayun ako. Hi! <laughs> If you have several cameras, then okay. Yeah. So I'm using my Logitech C920. Yeah. General. So, kahit hindi mo natingnan ito, okay na yan. So, kung okay ka na, then press done. Okay. Then here, if you want to start a meeting, then click mo lang tong new meeting. So, click natin. It's either you get a link to share para sa mga students mo or mga kasama mong imi-meet. Halimbawa, sa business mo, online business mo or you want an, you want to start an instant meeting or schedule it in Google Calendar but for this tutorial mag start an instant meeting tayo but before we go into that ano naman itong enter a code or link for example I am one of the participants attend ako ng isang meeting then yung na-share sa aking code dito ko lang ilalagay and then magjo-join ako mamaya papakita ko po sa inyo 
But for now, let's start an instant meeting. Click on the Joining. Getting ready. Okay, ayun na. Hi guys. So, eto tayo ngayon. So ngayon, at least nakikita mo na yung camera mo. Then dito, yan. Again, kung gusto mong i-turn on yung settings mo, kanina ginawa na natin to, before you start a meeting, so go ahead, check your audio, your video, and if you're satisfied, now yung resolution, pwede mo ring baguhin. Pwede 720p or 360p, depende yan sa uh, internet connection mo. So, sige, start na muna tayo sa 360p. Mukhang mabagal ang internet ko ngayon. So, done. And now, pwede na tayo mag-join now or start a meeting. Now, ito naman, present, meaning to say, kung ready ka na mag-present, yung mga PowerPoint presentation mo ready na at gusto mo umpisahan ka agad, then click mo lang itong present para maayos mo siya. Pero, pwede rin naman natin gawin yon pag nag-join tayo dito sa join now. Na kung mapapansin niyo dito sa taas, ito po yung pinaka-code, okay? Yan yung code na ilalagay natin or ibibigay natin sa mga participants natin at ito yung i-enter nila once they um, uh, join our meeting. Punta ulit po ako sa Google Meet ha, para makita ninyo. Google Meet, enter. Okay, enter ko ulit to. Okay. Remember, kung enter a code link, so ito po yun. Yan, kukunin nyo lang yan. Halimbawa, in-invite mo yung student mo, in-invite mo yung mga business partners mo. So, when they go to their own Google Meet and they want to join you sa meeting, dito na yung enter sa enter a code or link. Okay? So, now that everything is okay dito, pwede na po tayong mag-join uh, now. Now, may magpa-pop up the window dito. Ito rin yung uh, pinaka-link na pwede mong i-share if you want uh, your participants to join you. So, ito yun, no? Copy, joining info. So, pag nakapi na niya, pwede mong i-send sa messenger, sa group chat ninyo, o sa email para maka-join sila sa Google Meet mo. Okay? So, you can also add people. Kaya lang medyo tedious lang to kasi if you have 50 participants, then you have to <laughs> send them send this link to all 50 participants so masyadong ano, masyadong uh, matrabaho so gawin mo lang sa GC or send mo lang sa email or sa messenger nila mas madibilis so or sa may Facebook group kayo nandun yung link para sila na lang mag-join okay so here we are sa pinaka dashboard ng um, Google Meet okay so dito tayo ngayon let's start here meeting details so Again, ito yung info na pwede mong ibigay, yung link para sa mga participants. Then dito sa attachment, pwede ka mag-attach dito from your Google Calendar ng mga materials na gusto mong ibigay sa kala. For example, a particular attachment na documents na gusto mong i-share sa kanila, then pwede mong i-attach dito through your Google Calendar. I will create a separate video for this para malaman nyo kung paano. Okay? Then here, Ito po yung inyong audio. You can turn off, turn on your audio, or mute. This one, if uh, tapos na yung inyong Google meeting or video conferencing, you just have to click this one. And then dito naman sa camera, then camera on and off pwede. For example, the camera off natin. Yan, nakikita nyo lang yung aking profile picture sa aking uh, Google account. So, click mo lang yan kung gusto mong may camera ka na. Yan, hello! <laughs> So here, eto, natutuwa ako dito, tong turn on captions. Ito, pag kinlik mo yung turn on captions, lahat ng sinasabi mo is ika-capture ni Google Meet. Magbabasa mo yung mga sinasabi mo. Kaya lang, English language lang po sa ngayon. Pag Tagalog, medyo nalilito siya. So, let me show you. Hi, I am Alan De Leon and welcome to our Google Meet. There you go. <laughs> Pero pag Tagalog, malilito na siya. Ayan. <laughs> Ay, nabulul na siya pag Tagalog. Pero pag English, oh, how are you today? Kasi, kuhang-kuha niya. <laughs> so, pag nag-meeting kayo, make sure na mag-English ka para okay yung, <laughs> yung caption. Pero pag Tagalog, ayan, medyo nalilito na siya. <laughs> okay, so, turn off na natin yung caption. Ayan. And then, meron ka rito yung present now. Yung present now is, uh, click mo lang yan. So, mamimili ka. Oops, sorry about that. Mamimili ka kung entire screen, a window, a 
or a Chrome tab. So, usually kapag may presentation ka, kagamit ka ng PowerPoint, gagamitin mo yung your entire screen. So, click mo lang yan, maka-capture na niya yung PowerPoint presentation mo. Okay? Then here, dito sa may three dots, more options. More options, itong change layout, uh, kapag may mga kasama ka na, dito sa Google Meet, pwede mo i-change yung layout, pwede yung auto, so bahala na si, si uh, Google Meet ang uh, mag-recommend kung ano yung gagamitin na uh, uh, layout for your Google Meet. Then ito yung sidebar, meaning to say, kung nandito yung presentation mo, then nandito yung mga ibang participants, or pwede hindi naman presentation, ikaw yung nakikita dito, then nandito yung ibang mga participants. While well, spotlight, of course, kung ano yung gusto mong uh, naka-spotlight, like for example, your presentation, then di nakikita yung mga participants. And lastly, yung tiled, ito kita mo lahat ng mga participants similar sa Zoom, uh, Zoom meeting. Okay? So, yan ang pwede mong pagpilian sa layouts. Then, tignan pa natin dito, full screen, pwede mong i-full screen. Then, turn on captions. Napag-usapan na po natin to. And then, settings. Ito uli yung settings na ginawa natin from the very beginning. Okay? So, we're done with this one. Then, ito naman. Hindi mo na kailangan anin to. Okay? So, here sa taas, if you want to check kung sino yung mga participants, then makikita mo silang lahat dito. While well, dito naman sa chat, you can, pwede kayo mag-chat or if they have any questions, they can put it here para mabasa mo, para masagot mo. Okay? Okay, so that's Google Meet. Now, halimbawa, tapos na kayo sa inyong video conferencing or sa online class nyo. Make sure na ikaw yung pinakahuli na magli-leave ng iyong classroom or dito sa Google Meet. Kasi pag ikaw yung nauna, then nandiyan pa yung mga kasama mo, then nandiyan pa rin sila. <laughs> Para ma-manage mo itong iyong uh, platform sa Google Meet, then ikaw kailangan yung pinakahuling aalis. So, ito yung kiklik mo, itong leave a call. So, ang gawin mo lang, hintay mo silang makalabas lahat. Pag nakalabas na sila, then i-click mo lang to, then tapos na yung meeting. Okay, so let's click it. Yan. So, tapos na siya. You can rejoin anytime you want or you can return to the home screen. So, ganyan lang po kadali ang Google Meet that you can use for your video conferencing or for your online class. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification so you won't miss any of our latest video episodes. This is Alan De Leon. Thank you very much for watching and please do check out the other videos that we created just for you. Okay, so bye for now and I'll see you on the next video. God bless guys. Thank you for watching Alan Online TV. Make sure to like this video. Write a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video episode.